Back, anyone else wish to be recognized? Mr. Graves, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, I appreciate the, the intent of the, the gentlelady's amendment. Um, I, I, I understand that, that we should all be focused on health outcomes, and, and I think that, that all of us agree. Uh, the, the, the problem is that I think the, the premise, and in fact, the, the black letter of the amendment actually is, is inaccurate, um, in that it, it, it suggests that, um, that, that oil and gas production disproportionately affects a, a certain demographic of the population. Uh, there's actually an NAACP study. Uh, in fact, we had this debate in this committee uh, last Congress, NAACP study that indicated actually that, that there were a lower uh, percentage of, of communities of color located in proximity to energy production. I know that uh, my home state of Louisiana, we have about one third uh, black population in our state. And when we went through and we looked at where the production was compared to the population, it wasn't even close in regard, and, and so saying that another way, there were many, uh, I guess, white and, and what I refer to as Cajun folks proximate to, uh, to where energy production was. S secondly, I, I think that what we should be doing is looking um, uh, really globally. And, and as a matter of fact, if you look over the last a few years, what we've seen is we've seen that the, the policies that are being carried out by the Biden administration, and unfortunately by this committee in the last Congress, we've actually seen adverse impacts on communities and that we've seen communities uh, have energy bills go up as a result of these policies, causing literally thousands and thousands of dollars um, of impacts on the, the, those who can least afford it, uh, meaning their energy bills are going up, it's costing more to refuel their cars. And, and just to put a finer point on it, um, the last time we had Secretary Halan come testify before this committee, I asked her if she was aware of, of the, the volume of energy that we were importing from, from Russia, and she was unable to answer the question. And, and during the Biden administration in the first year, and, and I'm, I'm going to be wrong because I'm doing this from memory, but we had like a tripling or something, and again, give me wiggle room on that, of, 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 of dependence upon Russian energy. If, if we all care about the global environment, which I know you do, and, and I do as well, um, we should be looking at ways to use U.S. resources in a way that actually reduces emissions. Um, and, and for example, the Russian energy has a, about a 41% higher life cycle emissions than, than U.S. gas. Um, said another way, if we had simply taken one year of Russian gas that was going into the European Union and replaced it with U.S. gas, we would have had 218 tons, um, excuse me, million tons of emissions reduction. And so, let me, let me just circle back and close out here um, one more time. Uh, the, the General Lady's Amendment in regard to trying to protect or improve health of, of our communities. I'm in. I'm, I'm totally in. Um, but I think that, that one, just the black letter of, of the amendment, I think has some things that are contrary to some data that we've had presented at this very committee. And, um, and, and secondly, I think that the scope is flawed and that we're looking only at the United States whenever the reality is using our resources. In fact, studies that have been done showing that OCS, Outer Continental Shelf Oil and Gas Production, is either the lowest emissions per barrel or, or uh, cubic foot of gas or the second lowest. I believe two different studies, one said Saudi Arabia was the lowest, the other said ours was the lowest, if I remember correctly. And so we should be looking more holistically at how we actually improve global health outcomes, global emissions reduction, rather than looking myopically at, at, at one particular uh, issue area uh, that, that doesn't paint the true picture of, of global health. So I urge uh, rejection of this amendment and yield back.